Hello brawlers and welcome to the Baku Talk News. I'm Haru Ren. Press the thumbs up, give us a subscribe, and leave a comment down below. The Fusion Force starter deck contents have been revealed to us and they went up on sale first as pre-order from Psycho Turtles. Cuckoo Toys on eBay and Amazon had them for sale as well. But now according to at Zero Reboot on Twitter, they have found their way to the Asian market. As he posted that the starter decks have been found in stores in Taiwan. Takurotami has been pretty consistent with rolling out products so much these days that on the Hong Kong website, Hobby Digi is also selling them as well as Armored Elite packs. I... I might have to move back to Hong Kong now. And in our next story, this comes from Baku Masters, M Stubbs 88, Kimbo, and Baku Blade Legacy. They announced they will be starting a new Bakugan podcast called The Brawlcast, and this is actually going to be really cool in my opinion. M Stubbs posted on his Instagram saying that they just finished recording episode 1 with Kimbo and Baku Blade tweeting about it later. So this is actually going to be exciting. I'm actually super hyped about it. They have set up the channel for it. I'll leave a link in the description below. I definitely recommend showing them some love and support. They're great guys, and I think Brawlcast is going to be super fun. And in our final story for today, it was revealed that there's going to be a very rare limited edition product coming out. The Bakugan Wiki is reporting that there's going to be a super rare Dragonite and Tratoris fuse toy coming out likely this year. And the crazy thing is, this is going to be even harder to get than Diamond because the label on the box says 1 out of 500 made. Now here's the thing, this garnered a sort of a mixed reaction from the community. Some have called it exciting and looks nice, but there are others that are concerned about it because of its exclusivity and the distribution system still being broken that it's going to be even more harder to find and they're even concerned that it's going to be only found in the US. In my opinion though, I think that there's going to be some sort of feature like it's going to be translucent and made out of rubies or something, I don't know, but we don't know what stats are on that Bakugan yet. We don't know if it'll find its way into the meta game, but it would actually be a disaster if it did. The only thing we actually know about it is that it has an orange shield, but that's it. We don't know how much beat power it has, we don't know how much damage it has, because if something like this is this exclusive and that there's only 500 of them in the world and it gets hard power power creeped on as a reward for finding it, that's gonna break the game. But we don't know anything about this yet, so this is all speculation at this point. So we will have to wait and see if Spin Master will make this as part of their announcement coming up next week. From a collector's standpoint though, I'm not going to shred my wallet over this. It would be nice to have for my shelf, and if I find it, cool, but I'm not going to go actively looking for it. But let me know what you guys think about this super awesome mega chocolate fudge coated limited edition rare super toy in the comments down below, where I'll be replying to people from out of quarantine. Thank you for watching this episode of the Baku Talk News. Be sure to press the like button and give us a subscribe for more awesome Bakugan content. I've been Haru Ren, and that was Bakugan. Bye!